Like, does it make you nervous that your wife fights? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, I'm nervous, but I'm also really confident in her skills. You know what I mean? And you know, of course, as a you know, competition goes stiffer and, and it gets harder out there. And now she's doing MMA. Yeah, the nerves, you know, definitely were up in that last fight. But um, a, a big relief afterwards. We got a little excited. And I was like, all right, be cool afterwards. But uh, forty-seven but, seconds of nervousness. Yeah, forty-seven <laughs> seconds. Uh, you know, a little, a little extra, a little extra celebration <laughs> afterwards. And we took a took a uh, you know a little breather. But um, you know, hella proud of her, dude. She's yeah. been putting time in, and she's definitely like a a ninja black belt in the striking department and you know she's been doing grappling you know off and on for the years and i've been preparing her and and you know and it's 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 her turn you know what i mean we, mm-hmm. we put ourselves in a great position in life and uh for us to both pursue our dreams and everything and i'm and i'm glad uh you know we've been able to team up and she sacrificed a lot and that i can do the same for her and we can you know she can pursue her dream you know what i mean and i think yeah. she has some serious potential you know what i mean like i don't not just doing it for a publicity stunt you know i you know she's very pretty and sometimes people think it's just like a publicity stunt but i think she showed up to her last fight that uh you know not she, all looks yeah not all she's looks, not all looks <laughs> homie. that's not what i call her i call her scary <laughs> carry dude you know what i mean and uh you know in her, in her grappling game I'm, I'm really like you know i wouldn't say it but I'm, I'm you know i think it's her grappling for mma is is uh is where it needs to be at this point and it's only going to get better and um yeah i think she'll by the time uh She's fighting, you know, in a few more fights. She'll, you know, she'll be well rounded. You know, very, you know, extremely rounded. Do you think we're gonna see in the UFC? Or you're not even thinking about it. You know, I, um, we're not looking that far. I mean, things are options are always open. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, she fought 115 pounds in strike force. And uh, you know what? Scott Coker is a great guy and, yeah. and a great dude to work with. And um, and uh, and uh, and Carrie likes working with him. And she's worked with them in the past. You know, in kickboxing and. They have a good relationship, and uh, I'm sure it can continue to go. But um, you know, it's 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 the nature of the beast. It's it's a business out here, and um, you know, we'll see how things go. You know, options are always open. Where did you meet Karen, man? Uh, you know, we met at uh, you know, I've, you know, it's it's hard to pinpoint it because you know we're in the this community together of martial arts and. And we met okay. through a, mu- a mutual friend, you know, I may have seen her before, you know, but we, we've met through a mutual friend and, uh, you know, he's like, I got, I got a, someone for you to meet, you know, and some fighter girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, heck yeah. We met up and we had uh, some margaritas that night and we kicked it off really good. And by was the end, it was game over. It, it, well, you know, I thought, I thought I nailed, I thought I had it, dude, <laughs> you know, but I got a black eye that night, you know, and I told the story before, but she, oh, gave, me a, shit, she yeah. gave me a black eye the first night and, uh, like, just like an know, accident getting rough. I don't know, dude, I don't know if it was by accident, but it got a little rough out there, you know, but we're having some, you know, fun, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm a fighter. She's a fighter, but, you know, we rough house, you know, we get, we get, we, we, we have a little fun with that. So, um, you know, uh, you know, so I, you know, we kind of stayed separated for a while after that. And, you know, I kind of looked for her and, and found her and, and, uh, and made her mind eventually, you know what I mean? That's awesome. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have, you guys have a daughter together. I mean, how does, does she, she knows obviously she's old enough to know that she sees what you do, what you guys do. Mm-hmm. She does she get nervous? That's like daddy has to fight. Like, yeah. You know, fight, it's you been know? challenging the last, you know, couple of years. Cause you know, when they're, they're little, they're, they're not aware. You yeah. know, now she is more aware and, yeah. uh, and it can make you feel some, some type of way, you know what I mean? Myself as well. And, uh, sometimes I wish she'd never seen it and not does what, but, um, you know, you just have your concerns, you know, you have your concerns, how it impacts your daughter or impacts your kids. So, uh, knowing that it kind of messes with me a little bit but uh but i think she's she she knows the sport we try to let her know that it's a sport and we're having fun out there we're you know pursuing our dreams and not to do it but you know people's reactions if you lose or you know just the reaction from adults you know passes on to the kids and all that so it's something i'm navigating around and we're dealing with it but she knows the sport well and she loves it and she's cool with it she loves her fighters she's watching holly home versus jermaine you know and talks about it and you know so it's cool it's definitely really neat and um you know and uh but i don't see i don't know if she's gonna she's not a fighter yet she's maybe she will be later but this point she's not a fighter 